What's going on YouTube? If you're watching this video, it's probably from your iPhone or your tablet because you're getting the signal on your Mac. The first thing you want to do is you want to flip your computer over and look for the small screws that are in the bottom. Uh, I did not read those books there, by the way. They're just kind of chilling in my house. You want to get a small screwdriver or maybe a very sharp knife um, and try to unscrew these small screws. Once you got them loose, you want to make sure that you don't lose them. Now, um, your computer is probably not messed up. There's probably just one issue, which is that your hard drive is not being fed to your computer. Uh, and the problem is usually this cable here. This cable will bend and wear off. Also, the heat will just kind of wear and tear the cable. So, you want to unplug the cable uh, very carefully. And you can actually buy this cable, and as you can see there, uh, the wear and tear. It's not making a good connection. You can buy this cable, you know, just about anywhere online um, or any computer store. So, it's relatively cheap. Now, you want to go ahead and unscrew the hard drive from the computer. Uh, or the cord itself, the cable, whatever you want to call it, and this is where you'll be able to do so. Now, once again, you want to be really careful because these things are really small. You don't want to lose anything. Just have a place where you can work, a uh, place where you can put everything. Um, now, this is the storage place for your computer this is the most important part if you're like me i have a lot of uh, valuable important information and i can lose my computer but i really don't want to lose this so uh once i've unhooked this uh drive from my computer uh you'll be able to see that you can easily replace this yourself um once you get that cable uh, you want to keep this somewhere where there's no static in the meantime, keep this somewhere very safe, somewhere dry, uh, possibly uh, put in a bag or something like that. Now, it, once you get these screws off, you'll be able to easily replace this cable. You won't need this one anymore. You can, you know, throw it away or keep it somewhere, give it to somebody, I don't know. Um, and you'll be able to then install it yourself. This should get your computer back to its normal state. Now, I am going to give you another resolution just in case you're not able to, you know, immediately get one of the cables. Uh, if you have something like this in your home, this is basically a hard drive case. Um, you'll be able to usually use it to get your hard drive working via USB or being uh, getting your hard drive read once again by your computer. Uh, and this one is an Antec. I picked this up, I believe, at a Best Buy some time back. Um, and what you want to do is you want to unscrew it or open it up. And you'll be able to do so by a small screw at the bottom. Once you've got your case loose or opened up, you'll be able to insert your hard drive and use the... Uh, USB plug because there's no USB plug on the drive itself Okay, so as you can see there is your SATA interface You'll be able to connect your drive directly to this you will want to be very careful once you put it in um, you don't damage either the interface uh, on the case or the interface on the drive and this will be able to once again as you can see there uh, you will look for the matching interface there's usually two or three on there uh, this will be able to then get your uh, computer to connect to this uh, casing via USB now, sometimes it falls directly in there, sometimes it won't. I really want to advise you to, you know, unscrew anything if it's just temporarily. If you're just going to use it, this will be fine. You can just uh, put the casing on top. You don't necessarily have to close it. 
Uh, but the important thing is that it sits in there comfortably. It doesn't overheat. And um, you'll be able to see there's several interfaces usually on the outer casing as well. Now that light that you see there to the right will turn on as soon as the device is receiving electricity. Uh, if that light is turning on, you'll be able to know if it's working. You want to make sure that the casing is clean. Um, you want to make sure that there isn't any uh, you know, excessive dust or rust in there. Um, and just want to go ahead and show you uh, that this is very tangible. So you want to make sure that it doesn't fall uh, or that you, know, you don't move it or carry it incorrectly. So I actually have several of these. Um, the Seagate is a really good brand. The Toshiba is also a really good brand, especially for the Mac, usually what the Macs come with, from what I can remember. Um, and also the Western Digital is also a good brand. Now, I have this, my passport for Mac. This is my extra storage space, and it is USB connected. I have a backup of my computer here. I would definitely advise anyone that you know has valuable information on the computer to get something like this so that you can store your information uh, in two separate places. This is very durable. I've had this for a very long time. This is a little kit that I have to open up these cases and also the computer. You'll probably want to get yourself one of these if you are a computer owner laptop owner etc so that you could you know maneuver your way around your computer so we've got the computer connected via USB to the hard drive it's the moment of truth we're going to turn on the computer and hope that we do not get the little question mark sign and there we go So it's a really good sign once you see that apple, it just feels really good. You know that your information is there. You know, <laughs> your computer's back to normal. Um, I hope that this video helps someone, helps a lot of people. Uh, felt really good, really good to get my computer going for the first time after I thought it crashed. You know, if you're watching this, you're probably watching this from the tablet or your phone. And um, hope that this gives you some hope and some resolution. If you don't have the casing, the USB casing, uh, it's relatively cheap. You can get it just about anywhere. Um, and then, you know, you can decide if you want to go ahead and order the cable as well so that you can reinstall the drive into your computer. Now, for some people, uh, like myself, I sometimes actually like working with the hard drive outside of the computer simply because when the computer if the computer you know tends to heat up or we it doesn't affect your hard drive uh, I think it's it, you know it's longer lifespan for your drive however as you can see it will usually take longer to boot uh, you'll be getting an error letting you know that you know your computer shut down because of a problem you can go ahead and cancel it or whatever and everything should be back to normal. So, um, some more advice. I got this case for my computer, which has been really good. And uh, there's the bottom part of the case. Keeps my computer nice and clean on the outside. And for the inside, I have this. Uh, kind of plastic rubbery thing over my keyboard with, which also keeps my computer really really clean and waterproof so back to outer space and uh, thank you for watching subscribe like comment below uh, I'm not a big computer person to be honest with you so I'm probably not going to be posting a lot of computer videos this is my baby my Mac so uh, you know I got it up and going again had this video on the back burner for a while, just wanting to edit it and um, do voiceover. Hope it helps you guys out. Deuces.